Dude, stop! Why? Hey, Internet! It's Jessica, and welcome to Detroit Become Human. So, uh, I have been looking forward to this game, but I think for the wrong reasons. If you guys know me, I'm not, like, a huge fan of David Cage's games, mainly because they kind of end up like this. How can I forget that my two sons died because of me? I want you to give me a child. Wrong! Just exactly what I needed! Now you can stop seeing your moms and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. What? Yeah, so it's just like... You know, he, the guy has good concepts. Can I just say that right now? He has very wonderful concepts. I think the problem with me is just, like, he executes them very difficultly or, like, they're incorrect. It, like, in my opinion, at least. So if you enjoyed the other David Cage games, that's cool. Um, I'm gonna try to give this guy a chance. I'm gonna be real honest right now. I, I, I'll probably make fun of it, but I want to give him a chance because it's been some time since his last game, which was Beyond Two Souls, and I actually really like that game. So, he did get better as the years progressed, so I'm hoping that Detroit Become Human will actually be good and actually be enjoyable. And I'm going to read the description for this game. If you have never played a David Cage game, there are generally multiple choice and very story-driven games. And I, I really love story-driven games. And uh, knowing him, there's going to be like multiple endings and different kinds of choices. So the description for this is, what makes us human? Enter the near future metropolis of Detroit in 2038, a city rejuvenated by the introduction of highly advanced androids that exist only to serve mankind. That will end well. But that's all about to change. Step into the shoes of three distinct android characters as this brave new world teeters on the brink of chaos. Your decisions dramatically alter how the game's intense branching narrative plays out. With thousands of choices and dozens of endings, how will you affect the future of Detroit? So, I, I didn't realize it was 2038 because I, I didn't see anything from this except the trailer from E3. And the original trailer from 2000. 12, 13, I think the one with Kara. I remember that one. Um, but other than that, I have I have no knowledge of this. I didn't even play the demo because I didn't want to see anything until um, we got here. All right, so here we go. Let's start. Warning. Yes, I would like to keep these. Please adjust your screen. She looks like Natalie Dormer. Can I just say that right now? Oh, oh, okay. Casual experience. I want an immense skin. I want an immersive gameplay with advanced controls and fair challenge where mistakes can mean uh, losing a character. I want to focus on the story with the simple controls, a more forgiving challenge with fewer choices to lose a character. Okay, so since this is not like when I was playing God of War, I chose the easiest difficulty because I'm not great with combat. But since it is a story driven game, I'm gonna go with experience. So if someone dies, someone dies. We'll see what happens. When this sign is displayed, please do not turn off your console. Okay. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. You know how creepy that is? Because it's kind of true. Like, if you think about it, we're already on that path of, like, AI technology, so... A little bit creepy that she said that! <laughs> okay, August 15th. So we're playing as three android and three di different characters, and I hope this will actually end well because having multiple main characters in a game is very difficult to manage, and it's shown that in Heavy Rain, so I'm hoping that it doesn't go in the same path as it, so we'll see. Okay, I don't know who this dude is. Oh, can I move? Oh, okay. Whoops, I didn't even realize I was standing there like an idiot. Okay, so definitely something happened. Are we like a part of like the police squad or something? Whoa. What? Okay. Philip Johnson. Ooh, okay. Philip's uh, John, uh, Caroline, and they, they have a kid named Emma. Uh, okay. Alright. Oh, don't tell me we're dealing with, like, domestic abuse. Oh, no. Oh, no, David Cage, please. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Can we save the fish? No, let's save it. Put the fishy back. Don't hold it like that! Let's put it back! There you go. It's just a fish, so... Okay. Um, 
So what's happening? Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? I, I think that's, like, what we're gonna be tested in this game, right? Is just, like, how much are you willing to say that an android or an AI or something that's artificial is real? I think I had this question asked to me when I was playing Doki Doki Literature Club because it's the same thing. Like, the idea of something that you may comes to life and then it begins to have its own thoughts and feelings. Is it a real person now or is it still, like, an artificial thing? I consider it a real person at that point it has feelings and like um is able to feel. Wait, what what's going on? Oh, whoa. Find Captain Allen. So we can like scan the area, huh? This shows your objectives and interactions. Cool. What is happening, dude? Oh, is this Captain Allen? Okay, hang on. S sir? Captain Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. For some reason, I didn't expect his voice to sound like that. <laughs> it's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Uh, Deviant's name, Deviant's behavior, emotional shock. Deactivate code. Is it our android? Oh, it's deactivation codes. The first thing yeah, it is. Okay, what about the behavior? Even if it's been behaving strangely before this. Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. I understand that, but I want to understand what's going on, dude. I'll take care of it. You asked me to help. Oh, okay, fuck you, dude. You asked me to help, and then this guy's just like, fuck off. Okay. Understand what happened. Save all hostages at cost. Okay. I, I, I generally want to know what's going on. Is it just like a, a android bot going loose or did something provoke it? Okay, let's see. There's a gun. Oh shit. Uh. Alright, anything else that I can look at? Okay, Black Hawk. I, I don't know what kind of gun this is, but it's a gun! And this guy has it, that's great. Ammunition. Oh, God. Okay, let's reconstruct. Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. Whoa, what's happening? Use L2 or R to do review the reconstruction. Oh, that's interesting! Okay. Deviant took the father's gun. So, I'm assuming the guy is dead. Shit. Okay. Obviously, he stole the gun. I think this is really interesting a way of looking, because, you know, like a person, when you're investing, you just pick it up and like, oh. But, I, I guess an android would be a little bit different, because they would analyze it completely different uh, from how we would. And I think that's really interesting that they included that. Alright. Search hostages room. Let's see what's in here. So, this is the kid, huh? Child didn't hear gunshots. Oh no! Yeah, she probably didn't because she had those on. Okay. Oh no, go turn around. Please, David Cage, why do you have controls like this in your games? <laughs> so I have to touch the pad to interact. Okay. No, then he wouldn't hurt the kid, would he? I know that- okay, I know, this is like- what was that movie called with Will Smith? I- I robot, all the robots go, go insane just because they don't want to be serving man and whatever. But like, the- obviously, I don't know about the parents, maybe the parents were shitty to the guy, but obviously the kid was like really nice to him, so hopefully we have a chance to actually like stop this. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in this room. Can I- What the fuck? Okay, I want to see if I can look at anything else, just in case, so I don't miss a thing. Okay, nothing there. Alright. Damn! Oh no, that's the guy! That's the husband, or the dad. 
Okay, um, here we go. One clue. Bullet wound. Upper long hemorrhages. Okay. What about this one? He's definitely fucking dead, dude. Okay, and the kidney. Um. Oh! Oh, damn! Three shots! I didn't even see that. Oh, no. Deceased. Okay, so let's see what happened. Oh, so he was just sitting there! He wasn't, like, attacking the guy or anything. Father was holding something. Oh, there he is, okay. Can we look at what he was holding? No? Okay. He was holding something, can we see that? Is that here? I don't think so. All right, and then the, and then the guy said uh, he killed two of his men already, so. What? Whoa, what is going on out there? I'm trying to unmute this, but it won't work. Let's just turn this off. Family was about to have dinner, oh no. Okay. Let me try to talk to this guy already. Is that his blood? Collecting data. Fresh blue blood. Model PL600 serial number. Hmm. Maybe there's- Oh, so this is an older version. I think we're 800. It says on his coat. I don't know. Maybe that's a serial number, but I have no idea. Only 60% of information I found? a kid human blood hostage could have been wounded oh god I hope the girl is not wounded um I hope you guys don't mind me like looking at every single detail in this game because that's what I usually do with my let's plays um, but if it does bother you please let me know I'll try to cut most of it out or like what I can I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything and you guys don't miss anything either um, I want to know what he was holding do I have to like reanalyze this guy Oh, there it is! There we go. Okay, let me look at that now. got pissed because they were gonna oh no okay that's good we have a lot more sh oh god fuck okay hang on so he is that the reason why he went berserk just because they were gonna replace him Oh, this is the first time. Okay, okay, okay. That's all I need. I just needed to know more information. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. I don't know what else I can look at right now, but might as well just talk to the dude. Oh! First responder. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's obviously deceased. Okay. Alright, let's reconstruct this. What's that? The kid's shoe? Okay, so the kid was there when he was- Oh my god, the kid was there when he was shooting! Cop shot the deviant. Okay, so he was shot, alright. So he got shot, and then just took the girl outside. Alright. Where 
construction incomplete. What am I missing? Oh, here we go. Weapon located. So it's underneath there. Okay, cool. Alright. Can I grab that? You know, just for my safety or no? No, don't, don't. Let me handle it. Dude, why? You know what? I'm gonna take it, just in case. In case we need it. I don't want the girl to get hurt. Alright. Oh, no. What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to it boy. Yeah, I'm going to! Would you relax? God, I wanna look at everything in the game, goddammit. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Don't come any closer or I'll jump! Why? Dude, seriously. Are you just mad they're gonna replace? Or replace you? Okay, let me try it. Okay. Hi, Daniel. Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I, I was looking. About you. I've come to get you out of this. Okay, I'm gonna step a little bit closer. Just... Okay. Destabilizing. Alright, gain trust, approach slowly. All right, I'm not gonna do anything weird. I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me and let me help. You. I don't want yes. your help. What? You can help me. No, you you can get help, dude. It's okay. Stop. I just want all this to stop. What do you want to stop? You armed? No, uh, you know I'm gonna tell the truth. I have a gun. Drop it. Okay. No sudden moves, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be calm as possible because I feel like if you're being erratic, it's just gonna end bad. No more gun. Okay. Um. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. Oh, poor guy. But I was just there no, 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 dude! You, that girl loves you. Okay, what about Emma? I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. How? I thought she loved me. She does love you. Maybe not now, but. <laughs> she's just like all the other humans. No, dude. Dude. Okay. Uh, realist- sympathetic. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. Don't say that! It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? Don't shoot it! He's still I holding the kid, you dumbass! Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore! <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here! Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, get out of here! You guys are making it worse, dude, just hovering over him. There. I did what you wanted. Okay, last chance, trust. Hey, trust! You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go. How about you trust me, an android? We'll be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. Let the girl go, Outside dude. The city, I'll let her go. Oh, God. Self-sacrifice. How about we compromise? That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Come on. I don't want to die. I don't want you to die either. So Reassure. You're not going to die. You're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. Oh, 100%. Put her down. I trust you. Oh, okay. No! Uh, I mean, I knew they were gonna kill the guy anyway, but fuck, dude. You lied to me, Connor. Um. Well, 
let's be fair here. I didn't shoot the guy. <laughs> Mission successful. I did it. Well, at least the girl didn't die, but still. So this is like the first android attack uh, from this year. Or at least uh, f forever. Okay, this is the scene's flow chart. Here you can review paths you've taken. The paths yet to be explored and what possibilities you unlock. Each note earns you a point that you can spend in the extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted towards the completion of the flowchart. Okay. Oh, so we can see like what kind of like ending we would get and stuff. Interesting. So I, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't get, get like everything, like all the, the clues, because uh, the guy wouldn't shut up when I was trying to like do it. But um, there was multiple endings to this out outcome. There were six of them. Alright, cool. November 5th, 2038. Are we a different person now? Remember, you reset. Oh, they're this buying an Android. Household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. Anne handles the case network for elementary school. Good afternoon. Oh, cool. Okay, so we're an android in the store. We're being bought. This is kind of fucked up, though, if you think about it. Because, like, I know that's the whole point of this game. We're trying to just, like, see them as, like, humans, but, like, we're so close to this technology, you know what I mean? We already have, like, Alexa and, like, Google Home and all that stuff. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to surveillance. If you'll just follow me. Okay. Can I? I can't move, obviously, but. Come along, I'll show you. Get yours today. How much are they? Pre owned, pre owned Android zone. Oh, well. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now. Except that we had to reset it. What? Then we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. Oh, it's Kara! My name is Kara. This is the first trailer! Oh, I'm excited to see like what she'll, she'll be like. Oh no, this is the guy with the... Oh no. I just remember from the E3 trailer. This is the abusive guy, isn't it? Shit. Alright, well, this is the second character that we were gonna be playing, um, Kara. Oh god, I'm, I'm really hoping, like, he handles, like, abusive situations properly, because every other David Cage game he hasn't. Um, he's kinda handled it in more of an offensive way, if you know what I mean, so... I just hope that it's not bad. I wanna give this guy a chance so badly. <laughs> But, um, so far, the thing I like about this game is obviously the choices you can make and then the fact that, um, it makes you feel like an android because you have to scan everything rather than, like, what it was like in Heavy Rain. Remember when we were playing as Nom and Jaden, the best character ever, um, when he was investigating everything? He had his glasses and stuff like that, but you were investigating, like, a police officer rather than, like you know, something else, and I think that's what this game has to give you. It has to give you the feel of you're being an android and stuff like that, and I think they achieved it so far. I just don't know how they will achieve it with different situations. With the hostage thing, that was really messed up, but like, I don't, I don't know any other way where you can just do that, you know what I mean? Like, um, defuse the situation without knowing that this guy's gonna get killed in the end. But, um... But it, but it makes you really think because, like I said, we're pretty much close to, like, this kind of technology at the point where we're gonna have, like, artificial intelligence helping us do things. We already started that with, um, uh, what do you call those things? Alexa and, like, Google Home, so. <laughs> okay, November 5th. Here we go. Oh, it's a different person. 
I think this is the third character. See, majority of them, like, especially the kids, they really like them. But, like, the adults see them as, like, just things. Okay, let's see. Uh, can I look at anything here? Retrieve order at Bellini Paints. Go to Bellini Paint Shop. Oh, okay. So we're just doing something, that whatever our owner says to do. You gotta go get some paints. Can I just, like, creep around? Is that weird? Bellini Paints is not- Oh, damn it! <laughs> I was gonna look at stuff, but I guess the game's not letting me. Butter. Man, they're so rude to them. I don't like it. Like, I know that they're androids and they're like, you know, artificial intelligence and they're made from humankind, but still. I, I don't- that's why I said, like, I, if, if AI androids come, like, a real thing in real life, I, and they begin to have feelings and, like, um, can think for themselves, I would feel bad for them. Like, I would still treat them as a person because they're now a living thing. They're not, like, a product of design anymore. You know what I mean? Gotta wait for the green light, god damn it. Alright. Can I not go? Oh. Dude, come on. Okay, press R2 to use GPS. Alright, I have to go that way. Can I talk to this guy? Can I have a hot dog? No? Okay. Huh. So there's definitely gonna be some, like... Discrimination, obviously, because they still treat them like that. What is going on? What? Okay, where do I go? Over here, alright. I wish- is there, like, not a run button? No? Okay, I guess not. Bellini Paints, here we go. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right, right? So, here we go. Color since 1909. Alright. Sometimes the controls don't register. I'm just gonna let you guys know that right now. If you're wondering why I'm struggling to, like, open or pick up things, that's kind of why. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Okay, let's pay. Payment confirmed. Oh, they can just do it like that, huh? Transaction complete. Guess that would make sense. Thanks. All right. Collect, package collect, take bus home. Okay, we're just going to go home now. Can switch camera angles. All right, cool. Okay. I think this is the guy. If I remember from the trailer, this is the guy who's gonna rebel because he doesn't like like what's happening to him. Which I don't blame him. Um, where do I go? Ah, the bus is over there. All right. So these are like temporary, temporary parking. Wow. It's not even like. Oh, what's going on over here? What's happening? Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Oh, these are humans. Shit. Oh, these people are mad because the androids yeah, are taking their jobs. Tin cans here. Dude, stop! This Why? Fucker, you steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Oh my god! No! Well, I mean, like, what is he gonna do? They're- by design, they're not supposed to fight back, right? Okay, get up, dude. You go anywhere. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it! Alright. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Yeah, but what did I do? Damage it, I'm gonna have to fight. 
You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, let's just go to the fucking bus. Alright, there we go. But I understand, it, it's it's even like now, when people get angry they lose their jobs and shit like that, it's like the same thing, isn't it? So, this is just like even more worse because no no one's gonna give up this, like an android, since it, many people in this time find it very useful, so they're not gonna give it up. Oh, so these are like android compartments? Oh. Shades of color. Okay, so Mark. Okay, our name is our, our name is Marcus. Cause I'm trying to figure out all their names. It's gonna take a while before I remember. So there's other stuff I gotta look at. I should have done that. Fifty eight percent complete. Damn it. All right. Well, you know, there we go. Anyway, I'm gonna end this first part right here. Uh, it, it, so far it's interesting. I will say that. I will say. Uh, we haven't got to the heart of the game yet, where more conflicts are going to show up. We only experienced one at the beginning, and um, it wasn't too terrible. I actually like the situation. It's just like, I wish I handled it better on like what to say. Maybe if I didn't lie to the guy, he would be alive. I don't know. Um, but regardless, the concept of Detroit Become Human is very interesting. I just hope that the rest of the game is well done, well written, because... You know, <laughs> I really don't want to make fun of it. I really don't. But it's just, I just have a feeling something, David Cage wrote something very, like, improper. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think so far. And if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you know when the next Trip Become Human episode comes out. And uh, if you guys would like to support the channel on Patreon, the link is in the description. And yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully, you know, my playthrough of this will not be terrible, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Oh, no, I... Nothing special. So am I right? This guy's guilty, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, And sometimes that brings people together in a not-so-cute way. Here are six terribly awkward romances in video games. Number six, Cole and Elsa. 